We're here with the bike and kit of Rio Olympic Games bronze medalist Vicky Holland. So let's start with her bike and she is riding the specialised S-Works tarmac in a 52 centimetre frame with a few customisations. So let's start with probably the most obvious customisation on the front end and that is her bar tape where she's got a blue and pink setup um, which came standard from specialised apparently which is pretty cool. And then on the end of that, she has the Shimano Durace Di2-9150 levers. Interestingly, she also has some clip-on tri-bars, which not everyone opts for in IT racing, given that you cycle in a pack and you don't necessarily need the tri-bars quite so much. But where they do come into play is when you're maybe coming out of the swim and you need to bridge a gap up to the group in front, or perhaps you're trying to attack off the front of a group but they can't extend beyond the brake levers. So these look like a mixture of brands actually. She's got some Dida arm cups here and the Dida clamps, but these are perhaps actually some zip bars. We're saying that because of some zip plugs there, might be completely wrong. And then they have to have a bridge on these tri bars. So she's actually got a profile design bridge here. Now moving on to the wheels, you're never going to see anything super deep in ITU racing. I mean, you want a bike that's agile, responsive, and you can throw around. So you're going to go for something slightly shallower. So she has the Roval CLX 50 Rapide wheels. And then on those, she has the S-Works Turbo Tubular tire in a 24 mil width. And something I really like, and I just noticed, is that she's got this specialized tape around the valve. Now, valves often rattle in the wheels. So I often used to use just some electrical tape. So this is a really neat and clean way of doing it from Specialized. Now let's go back to the frame itself and Specialized have kind of overhauled the tarmac to prove its lightness and also its aerodynamics. Now we don't have the scales here today to weigh the bike but it's believed to be around 200 grams lighter than its predecessor. And they've done that through improving the carbon layout and also how much paint is applied to the frame. Now in terms of the aerodynamics, they've changed a few designs on the frame. So we've got this cutout around the rear wheel as well as aerodynamic features around the seat tube and the seat post. We've got the dropped rear stays, but something I thought was really cool is that the forks actually come in three different sizes to complement the aerodynamics of the different frame sizes. So all in all, say Specialized have made more than just a road bike, this is actually becoming almost an aero road bike. Back to some of the componentry of the bike, she has the S-Works power crank set, which is a dual-sided power meter from Specialized, which is really exciting. It's due to be released at some point in 2018. She's running a 170 crank length, but she has told us that she is playing with the idea of using 165s, but currently she is riding 170s. And on the end of those, she has the Look Keo blade pedals, and then she's running a 5236 chainring setup. And then she obviously has the Shimano Durace Di2 9150 front mech, and rear mech but you'll probably have noticed the rather large cogs on the back and that's because she's running the ceramic speed ospw jockey wheels in short they help to save watts by reducing the friction of the chain going from the cogs through the jockey wheels on a standard jockey wheel setup the chain has to go through some relatively tight angles so basically ceramic speed are aiming to improve the flow of the chain through that area and then that is all connected by this rather flash gold kmc chain then onto some of the finishing touches and componentry. She has the Shimano Durace brake calipers. And then on the top of the S-Works aero seat post, she has the S-Works power saddle, which she's opted for the smaller 143 mil size. And then she has the S-Works bottle cages. Now moving on to some of Vicky's other kit. Now Vicky comes from a very strong swimming background. So she opts for the Roka Maverick X wetsuit, which kind of complements that neutral buoyancy in swimming. Um, and she's got that in a small tool size. And then moving on to these rather flash shoes. These are actually her shoes from the Rio Olympic Games. These are the New Balance 1500 V2s. These come in at around 215 grams, depending on the size. And she's actually talking about going for something slightly lighter, but still with some good support from New Balance as well. But check out those soles. So there we go, that is Vicky Holland's S-Works tarmac and a race kit. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to GTN by clicking on the globe. And if you want to see 
what these clip-on aero bars are all, around, all about, then click on the video up there. If you want to see some other tech from ITU Racing at the ITU Grand Final in Rotterdam, click down there.